and I wouldn't even wish this on my worst enemy, so it's going straight in the trash. Bring it right back, right back to me, baby. No, we've been here before. Give me the real Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Candace, and this is Everything Beauty with Candace B. I have more empties for y'all, and this video is going to focus on skincare, so all of the products that I use on my face. So I have quite a few products in my handy dandy little basket right here. So what I'm gonna do is just go in the basket, pull out a product, we're gonna talk about it, I'll tell you whether I loved it or hated it. So let's get into it right now. All right, so the first product that I'm pulling out is by Palmer's. It's their, what is it, Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. So this is what I would use to take off my makeup at the end of the night because I like to double cleanse. So I'll use an oil just to break up all of that makeup and then go in with a regular face wash. This one is like, I think $8 and you can get it at the drugstore, Target, CVS, Walgreens, wherever. And I really like this one. It lasts so long and it works very well at breaking down the makeup and getting it off of your face. So if you're looking for a good cleansing oil, I recommend this one. And speaking of cleansing oils and cleansing balms, I emptied another one, y'all. I know this was in my last empties video, but I just gotta show y'all that I've emptied another one, and this is by Pharmacy. It's the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Balm. So this one is not a liquid oil. It's more of like, um, it feels like a grease or like a balm. And it comes with a little spatula. Oh, it's actually in here. You can see it comes with a little spatula where you can scoop out the balm and put it into your hands and just really work it into your skin and it does so well. I think that one is kind of like my new cleansing oil or cleansing balm that I use. I have not used the Palmer's one since I emptied it, but the pharmacy one, I've bought like three or four of them since. So I think that one is probably what I'm gonna be using now and probably in like the long future. I think the 3.4 ounce jar of that cleansing balm retails, I think $34, but don't, don't hold me to it. I think it's $34, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> but Pharmacy recently announced an even larger tub of it. So this size tub here, yeah, 3.4 ounces, lasts me about three months. And now they have a larger tub that's double the size. So I think it's like 6.8 ounces. So I think the next time that I need to restock, I'm gonna get the jumbo size one. So in that way, I only have to buy it twice a year because I would assume that that one would last me a good six months. So next up, I have something that is not empty, but we gonna call it empty because this stuff was terrible. <laughs> it's by Neutrogena. It's the Skin Balancing Gel Cleanser. Y'all, this tore my face up, y'all. It tore my face up. I've used this maybe two times, so it's pretty full. And it did not work for me at all. The first time I use it, I wash my face. It smells so good too. And my skin is usually not sensitive to fragrance. So it smells really good. If you smell like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, then you know the smell. It smells so good. I was washing my face, everything was going well. And then the next day, boom, acne all over my face. Well, maybe not acne, but like a rash all over my face. So I immediately stopped using that because I couldn't take any chances. I felt like it was that. And so I stopped using it. It stayed in my bathroom for like months and months and months. And then I kind of forgot about it. And I saw it on the shelf one day and I picked it up like, dang, this is still pretty full. I've never used this. Let me use this one. Wash my face, same thing next day. Just oof, toe up all over my face. So I can't use this no more. And I wouldn't even wish this on my worst enemy. So it's going straight in the trash. And I'm gonna just chalk up that little $9 as a loss. Cause it is, I think it was like $8.99 at Target. It's cool. I'm not gonna use it no more. Or maybe I can use it as a brush cleaner. But even then, I don't even know if I want my brushes to touch my face if I use it as a brush cleaner. So. I don't know, but I do not recommend zero out of 10, okay? Next up is this face scrub. It's the Pore Balance, what is it? Facial Sauna Scrub by Ola Henriksen. This one right here, I love y'all. Like I know you're not supposed to really use like physical scrubs because it can like damage the skin of your, or the skin, the layers of your skin. <laughs> 
but I don't care. I love the way it feels. So like when you put it on your face, it heats up as you're like working the, I don't know, the scrub into your face and it just feels really good. It leaves my skin so soft and I feel like my complexion looks a lot brighter after I use it. So I would buy this again. I already have another one in the bathroom just waiting for me, but this one is pretty much used up. I think it's I don't know, $32 or something. I don't know, but I love this little facial scrub. I don't use it all the time. I maybe use it, I don't know, two or three times a month because I do like to use chemical um, exfoliants instead of a physical exfoliant. But every once in a while, I just like to feel like the scrub on my face. So if you like physical scrubs like I do, I highly recommend that one. I have one toner in this basket, and this one is by Freck Beauty. It's the Cactus Water Lactic Acid Toner. I loved this little toner, you guys. It felt so good on the skin because it has like that menthol type scent on it. So when I put it on my face, it was very cooling and it just felt very soothing. This one I use, I think, in the daytime. So I have two different toners that I would use in the daytime versus the nighttime. The nighttime usually has more of like my AHA type toners. And then in the morning time, I like a lot more gentle toners. So this one was very gentle. I got this one off of Sephora. I don't think they have this available in stores. It's online only. Um, but this one, I love this one. I would totally buy another bottle, just not right now because I think I have like three or four toners that I need to get through that's just been sitting in my drawer for the longest and I just want to make sure that I'm using products up and not just buying stuff on top of stuff. So um, I definitely recommend this one. I will pick this one up again in the future, just not right now. At nighttime, I like to use an essence after my toner and the one that I've been using lately is by Fresh. So it's their kombucha facial treatment essence and it feels just like a water and it's really meant to just add balance back to your skin and hydration to your skin. But this little bottle right here is expensive. I think it's like $35, $36 for 1.6 fluid ounces, but it does last a really long time. So this bottle I think lasted me maybe four or five months and I think it's because I only use it once per day so I use it in my nighttime skincare routine um, but I really like this one and I highly recommend it there is another essence that like Jackie Ina used to talk about by SK2 and that one I have that one too but that is so expensive and this one is like drugstore compared to SK2 so if you're looking to like add essence to your skincare routine then i would add this one okay so let's get into serums i have one two three four i have five serums to talk about and a little bit about how i do serums i like to use like vitamin c and like niacinamide in my morning skincare routines and then i use more of like the aha or like the ones that have active ingredients i use those in my nighttime skincare routine so let me start with the daytime ones i have two so the first one is from um, Bliss and it's the Bright Idea Vitamin C Serum. I like this one. I think this one is definitely a dupe for the Ole Henriksen Vitamin C Serum. I don't remember what it's called, but this one retails for I think $25 and you can pick it up at Target. It smells really good and I feel like it goes on my skin very nice. I feel like it also brightens my complexion when I'm using it. And overall, I think it just makes my skin look really good. So I recommend this one. I think I've had, this is maybe my second bottle. And I do plan to get another one because I am starting to run low on vitamin C serum. So I might pick it up from Target. But if not, I am going to pick up this one by Tula Skincare. And this one is the Brightening Treatment Drops. So this one I picked up at the, what is it? The Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I got it half off. So this one is normally like $50. And during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I got it for I think $25. So that was the main reason why I picked it up is because I wanted to try something from Tula. And I really like this one too. So um, I don't know if I would spend $50 when you can get this one for $25. But 
this one works really good and if you feel like spinning them coins go ahead and get this one it works really good I use it in the daytime and it looks really good under my makeup I never really have any issues and I recommend it so the next three that I have are all drugstore serums and these are all of my nighttime serums that I would use so the first one is by Vert is it Verst or Verset I'm gonna say Verst this one I think I picked up at Target and it's the Just Brief Clarifying Serum. You get one ounce. I wanna say it's maybe $20. Um, and this one is a clarifying serum. So when I'm going through like a breakout, I tend to use this one. And it does help keep my skin really clear, which I really like. And it's not that expensive. So if you're looking for like a new serum that can clear out like your pores and keep your skin clear I recommend this one okay I also have one from the same brand Versed, and it's a retinol so I really wanted to start getting into using retinols at night now that I'm like getting into my mid 30s I feel like I want to make sure I'm using retinol to help with like my skin cell turnover and keep my skin fresh you know a lot of people say black don't crack I'm gonna make sure it don't crack <laughs> so um, this one is by Verse. it's the press restart gentle retinol serum I started with this one because it said that it was gentle and I know sometimes retinol can get a little harsh on skin you kind of have to build up a tolerance for it before you can really start using like full-blown retinol because it can really tear your skin up and make your skin sensitive to the Sun so this one was a gentle version of it and I put this one on at night right before my moisturizer um, I do like to put it on my face and let it sit for at least five minutes before I put on my next step of moisturizer just to give it a chance to really soak into the skin and just really start doing its magic and I think this one was maybe under $20 too. I think the Versed brand is like right around that $20 range. So it's not too expensive and it's still pretty affordable and you can still get some really good skincare out of it. The last serum I have, I've been through maybe six or seven bottles. It's by The Ordinary. It's their Alpha Arbutin 2% and hyaluronic acid girl alpha rb10 two percent and hyaluronic acid serum i like using this one too this one is made for um, like hyperpigmentation it helps to fade it and i put it on at night right before my moisturizer i don't put it on with the retinol these are all use like one at a time um but i like using this one i feel like my skin just looks really good in the morning time after I put it on and it's faded a lot of my dark marks like I used to have dark marks all over and now they faded so much and it looks my skin is just looking a lot better so if you're looking for something that's specifically for hyperpigmentation I highly recommend the Alpha RB10 by The Ordinary I think they have other Alpha RB10s by like other brands but The Ordinary I think you get it for like less than $10 and it works pretty well so don't spend the extra money on like an expensive brand when you can get one that works just the same all right now let's move into moisturizers I have four in the basket and then we will be done so the first one up is by Ole Henriksen y'all that's one of my favorite skincare brands so fresh Ole Henriksen belief and now I think Tula are like my top four skincare brands um, so this one is the truth C rush brightening gel cream this would be like my daytime moisturizer because like I said I like to use vitamin C in the daytime don't ask me why I feel like I've read that somewhere but this one is a very lightweight moisturizer which smells so good it smells like oranges to me or like citrus and it rubs in very well it's pretty moisturizing I think the only thing about this one is if you know me and watch my channel you know I like those really thick like creamy moisturizers which you'll see in a minute <laughs> and this one is pretty light so I mean it worked good would I repurchase it probably not <laughs> but it worked really well and if you're looking for something that's a little lighter and you have like oily skin like all over I'm oily in my t-zone but if you have oily skin all over then this would be a really good one for you to get next up is by Fenty skin and it's the hydra visor it's the uh, moisturizer with the SPF in it I love this one it smells so good y'all 
and it doesn't give me a white cast because it is an SPF but it has moisturizer in it so I love this because it was like a two-in-one step like right now I'm doing moisturizer and then I'm doing SPF on top which sometimes tends to get like a little muddy on the face when I start to put on foundation so I really like that this one was more of that two-in-one solution I think the only thing I don't like about this one is the price I don't remember I think I want to say $38 which I know is not terrible but I don't know y'all <laughs> I don't know I would get this one if it's on sale but it does work really good I think right now I'm kind of more into like my Tula SPF which works so well speaking of Tula I also emptied this um, SPF here it's by it's by Tula. I already told y'all that <laughs> it's called the protect and glow daily sunscreen gel it's an SPF 30 so let me put it all the way up so y'all can see it Y'all, this one is the bomb. I got it at Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I'm telling y'all, I use that sale to try so many new products. It's not even funny, but I picked this up in March at the 21 Days of Beauty for Ulta. And it's quickly become like my ultimate like go-to SPF for my face. And I love it. Like it does not have any white cast at all. And it does have like these little pearls or something kind of in it. So like when you put it in, when you put it in, when you put it on, it just really makes your skin glow and look like really pretty. Um, I can't wear it by itself though, because when I put it on by itself, I look really, really greasy, especially in my T-zone area. But, but it works very well under makeup and it doesn't get all cakey. It doesn't peel or anything. So I highly, highly recommend this one. This is definitely like my holy grail. SPF foundation foundation not foundation SPF I have another moisturizer it's by fresh beauty <laughs> you know one of my four brands and it's the rose deep hydration face cream this one smells so good and when I tell y'all she is thick like she is thick okay thick so thick that I can't wear this in the daytime because it just really like interacts with my SPF and my foundation and like my foundation starts to peel so this one does not play well with my makeup so I can't wear it in the daytime but it's a really good option for like nighttime when you really need like a heavy moisturizer I don't think I necessarily need this for the summertime so I won't pick this up anytime soon but maybe if it's on sale I don't know um, but this one is really good I think for the winter time when it's a little bit drier outside and your skin just needs that extra moisture so I would definitely recommend this one but I don't know if I would recommend it for oily skin people and I wouldn't really wear it in the summertime it is very hydrating and very moisturizing but it's a little bit too moisturizing <laughs> So um, recommend it, but I won't be picking this up until the end of the year. And the last product that I have on my list is another moisturizer. It's my holy grail. Um, it's by Belief. So it's the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I've been through, I don't know, seven, eight, nine of these bottles. And I have, what is this, 1.68 fluid ounces. So like, don't get it mixed up. Belief has two different ones. So they have the Aqua Balm, which is more of like a gel cream type which would be good for like the oily skin but since I'm pretty normal around the perimeter of my face I like a more moisturizing moisturizer <laughs> so um, I use the cream uh, not aqua I use the moisturizing balm so this one it smells really good and it's very hydrating my skin feels so like good in the morning time once I wake up it still feels pretty hydrated so I highly recommend this one if you haven't tried it they usually have like the travel size you can start there and you can get one for like $20 and then if you like it go for the big one so I highly recommend this one if you haven't already tried it go ahead and try it because you need it in your life so that is it for my skincare empties have you guys tried any of these products that I showed you in this video today if so let me know down below in the comments but if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit those notification bells so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.